guys, Jacob from Gamer Cub Studios here, and today we're going to talk about how to remove a background uh, from an image or how to cut out uh, a part of the image uh, to be able to use it in your projects. And this is something that's uh, asked a lot on the forums. And so today we're really going to help you uh, to be able to do that. Now there's no one answer when it comes to uh, this uh, technique. There's many different tools you can use depending on the type of image it is. And so we're really going to help you um, get used to the selection tools because those are the key uh, to be able to target these areas and uh, cut out the things you want or remove other things. Um, so we'll use some of these tools today. Now let's uh, bring up an image that we can use. We'll use this uh, Robin image here. And we'll do all these different techniques today on this image. We'll show you what can be done. So we want to remove the background. We want to cut this little guy out here to use it in a different picture or a different project. And there's different ways to do it. Um, now, one of the ways that can be useful in certain pictures is called the select color method. So you can go up to edit, select color, and you get the box here and you notice that your mouse becomes an eyedropper so you can select whatever color you want on the in the image and it's going to find every pixel that is that color if I just choose that and it's going to select that and we can then delete that now here obviously there's a lot of different colors so that would take a long time but in certain situations that technique select color can be useful now let's say you use the select um, color technique and you notice that inside if I zoom in here inside the bird we also have some things selected some pixels that were possibly the same color well that's okay here's what you can do if you go over to the marquee tool and you choose the uh, minus or subtract selection mode then you can use that to get rid of these partial selections here if I zoom in a little closer, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So I can remove this and clean up my selection before I hit delete. And um, I won't do the whole thing, but so you see how you can use that. And then of course you can delete there. Now that's not gonna be the most effective way. So I'll command D to deselect or unselect what I just did. And um, we'll try, um, the most common, probably the best technique for most images is going to be the lasso tool here. If I select it, there's two tools in one. If I hit the L key, I can go back and forth between the oval or round lasso tool and the polygonal lasso tool. And this is the one that we want. So let's show you here how to uh, make a selection with this. Now we don't have to be too exact, which is nice. You, you don't want to be too messy, but you don't have to be too detailed. It will start at a point here. We'll see we've kind of anchored it. And you want to follow the line just on the edge or slightly even inside. And uh, you can really be as detailed as you want. If you really want to get this this part of the you know the feathers here, or if you just want to skip that all together and just round that off so you decide how detailed you want to be you know all right so we'll just uh, create a small selection here and just to show you how this works so we're going along we're not being too careful you don't have to sit there for an hour and and do it you know that much now I'm just gonna just cut it short here okay because I just want to show you the edge, the most important edge is the outer edge of the bird here. Now right now the selection is closed but um, we want it to be smooth and we want to uh, you know, smooth it out, round out the edges here. So before I do any deleting, uh, I want to go to Edit, Refine Selection. Here's where this is going to uh, make it really nice. So we see we got a, we got some bumpy edges here and we can do the smooth 
So we just want to go 1 to 2% because notice if I do too much, look at the beak, it'll, it's rounding it too much. We just want a little bit there. All right, once you feel like you've got what you want, then we can go to the feather option. And this is just going to feather the edge out. And let's say, you know, 10 to 12, whatever you, you feel is, is nice for your picture. Okay, and then we do okay like that. And if I was cutting this bird out here, I would go up to edit inverse. That means I'm selecting everything on the outside of the picture or my selection. So I'm choosing all this and I hit the delete key. You can see I've done that. And if I go command D select. Now if I get closer, you'll notice, see the selection? It's nice and has a soft edge to it because we did the refined selection. It doesn't look harshly cut out at all. Okay, so we'll go back to normal here. So let's look at some other methods that we can remove the background with. Now one of the other methods is um, the eraser tool and there's two tools in one. Again, if you hit the E key, you'll go back and forth between the regular eraser and the magic eraser. Now the magic eraser is really is one of the tools you're going to use um, and it can be very quick so if I make sure the strength on the magic eraser is all the way up and then I use it on my picture I can instantly erase things and um, it will uh, you notice how quickly it does it but out of control you can take off part of the image you want to keep so use this sparingly and try to find different points that you can come in and, and start erasing. And this is really a quick method. You know, come in here and just get rid of some of this stuff uh, as quick as you can. Um, that's a good method too. So, But you're going to use this in combination with the other methods. So the magic eraser tool will help you get some of this stuff done very quickly. Start removing the background here. Alright? And then of course um, go back to the regular erase tool and uh, when we start to get detailed this is what when this comes in handy so your regular erase tool is going to automatically use your brushes palette so whatever brush you have selected that's what it's going to use to erase with so I'm just um, I recommend using the default brush round brushes and because if you're really going to get detailed on the edge you don't want the hardness to be um, all the way because what happens is you'll get this rough edge that you're erasing with. All right, so you definitely want to pull down the hardness so it softens the brush a little, and then you choose obviously that how big you want that brush here. So if we get detailed, we can zoom in with Command plus or minus, and then we can come in here with that soft brush and see the edges still, it matches up with the rest. You know, we're not being too harsh here. All right. Now let's say we want to get really detailed. Um, let's find a spot here. Let's say right here, we really want to get in and keep these um, part of the feathers here. So what we would do is switch over um, to the pencil style regular erase tool. Um, and, and we can choose our strength here. Notice it gives us a um, blocky um, eraser here, and we want to bring this all the way down to one pixel, and then we'll zoom in. We can really get detailed here, and we can start really getting in here and erasing <clears throat> very, very close and detailed. All right, we can get in there and do each pixel if we want, and really zoom in. Um, so it all depends on exactly how much detail you want. Okay, so that's another tool that you can use to get in and, and work some of these areas after you've done the majority. You come in and you can just detail and, and clean these up. So hopefully this helps you today to um, understand selection tools and how to cut things out of, uh, of an image and how to use them to um, you know, create anything you really want. The point of these really is to 
to get you to be able to learn Pixelmator quickly so that you can create what you want to create and uh, make some cool stuff. Please spread the word about these tutorials to others who are trying to learn Pixelmator. Hopefully they can gain a lot out of these. There's so many more tutorials I have that I want to get out to you guys and I look forward to, to doing that. So please subscribe if you haven't to the channel. There will be a lot of future tutorials coming out. If you do create some cool stuff, we'd love to see it over on Flickr. We have a um, Pixelmator design group, and I'll, I'll, you should see the, um, uh, the link right now on the screen. And please come over and join the group. Um, check out what's being created in Pixelmator. Um, we want to see your work posted up. It doesn't matter what skill level you're at, whether it's photos, art, um, a graphic design, whatever it is that you're d using Pixelmator for, we want to see your work. Please add to the um, to the pictures there. Thank you very much, and um, please, um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's uh, at GamerCope Studios, and you can also see my personal work on Flickr, um, uh, photos forward slash GamerCope, and also um, on CarbonMade. It would be uh, GamerCopeStudios.CarbonMade.com. You can see um, my portfolio there. Go check that out. We look forward to seeing you next time.